Hello everyone, we are going to show you how to cook cow food. Um, it's basic homegrown British ingredients, most of them, uh, the own, especially the vegetables. We have carrots and potatoes, radish and parsnips. And also we have the um, parsley. Uh, I would probably use just one lemon. This is to, uh, to 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 wash the meat really, and also we got some garlic. We have dried chili or pepper. Um, you can use, and then we do have some powdered uh, black pepper, uh, and also we have some matras um, uh, curry powder. That's, we will use that at the end just to give some little extra flavor. Yes, of course, we will use the apple cider vinegar and also salt. And we have the, um, the meat is ready. And this will be the first step. Uh, basically, we will be cooking them in um, a slow... You can either use a slow cooker or you can use them the pressure cooker. I'm going to use the pressure cooker this time. So I will make things much faster. So I will show you the rest now. Right, we have managed to chop all the veggies, not into small pieces. Remember, we're making soup, so there's no need to cut them into small pieces. They can be as uh, not too big, but you know, a reasonable amount. Right, and the secondly, now what we are going to do? We got olive oil and also apple cider vinegar which I'm going to add them to the cow food that we have here and I'm going to stir it very well before I actually put them into the um, the uh, the pressure cooker and what I would normally do I would um, I would sort of fry it very very gently so that we can get the flavor from the cow food, not too much. I'm going to show you right now, anyway. Please put the, put the fire at very, very low so you're not really frying here, you're just getting a little bit of a redness. So, at the moment, I have put the uh, olive oil and also we got some apple cider vinegar, probably about a couple of spoons. Uh, at this point, I would add the garlic to be roasted along with the cow food and I will put some black powdered pepper into the or onto the meat. So I'll just shake it very well. You see the fire is very very little. You don't have, you don't need to be too much on there. Right, so let's give it a go, just and keep shaking. Or if we have something to turn them over, just for the next five minutes. Hmm, that's about three minutes gone now. Um, right now, what I will do, I will add the the other ingredients, which is the matcha curry powder. Remember, we are putting all these to get the flavor out before we actually start putting the veggies. At the same time, as you can see, the uh, the garlic is already roasting underneath, which also brings the flavor. Remember, we're not using any onions, so we can put the meat already in it to get the get it a bit roasted along with the carrot. Slowly you can start putting the other dry chili powder. I'm not putting too much here. Sometimes you can use a green chili which I will probably put one in there. So that means once we add the water later on it will uh, extract the uh, the spiciness into the meat uh, that will work together. Right, at this time I will probably squeeze a little bit of lemon 
juice is in there, fresh mixed fresh lemon. And then slowly we will start putting the rest of the ingredients, which is the, uh, the vegetables. Take it very well. Lots of parsley. Right. Now it's pretty much ready to go. What we are going to do now to add the rest, the last uh, ingredients, I will put the green chili in there. That will bring the flavour at range. You can add some salt before we close the lid. I would probably say I'm just doing it because I'm used to the amount, but you can actually put um, probably one and a half spoon worth of salt for this amount of meat and the veggies. Here I have boiled hot water already on a kettle just to speed up the process. Slowly, just put it around so that the salt can go to the bottom. Right. Now we will. It's time to put the lid on and wait for another hour on a slow cooking. underneath. Thank you and thanks for watching. I will show you the outcome within the next one hour. Right, almost an hour gone. So I turned the power of the flames off and I will let it cool down by itself. Please do not open the cover. It's very important. It's very hot and it's steamy, so you don't want to do that. It's been done already and I waited almost 15 minutes. So it's time for me to open it now. And I'm just gonna check. Wow, look at that, the soup. You can see the color, flavors. I can even smell it. it's really, 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 really nice. Right, now what we do, in the meantime, I put the cover back on again, but remember there's nothing underneath there, so it's all turned off, safe. We are going to uh, sort of some tomatoes. This is very important. Some people do it at the start. I don't normally do it at the time of uh, when we first started putting all the ingredients inside. I'll do it at the end. The reason for that, you don't want the tomatoes to really dissolve within the water. You just want to want the flavour. So basically, you just have to roast it um, and get it like a paste. And we will add that to the final the soup. That will give us better and lovely and make the colourful flavour. So we will wait, keep doing it. Right, as you can see the tomato is really fried and it's roasted and it's really really ready. I can even smell the the taste is <laughs> in my tongue already. Right, what we're doing at this stage, very simple, we're just going to mix them with the other cow food spoon. There we go. Just gonna have to push it all the way down because what's gonna happen, we, we're adding the colour and also the taste, the tenderness to our soup. Right, now what we do, we will put the cover back on again and we are going to cook for another 10 more minutes. And finally, the soup should be ready. There we go. That is our car food soup done. Ready to serve. Look at that. 